This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. What is up, everybody? Welcome here, and I got some interesting Sega news. And as you're seeing this image right here of Nato Oshima with Hirokasu Ya Yasuhara, two legends right here, two co creators of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise right here. It's a shame that Yuji Naka lost out on being part of this moment right here with, with, uh, with these two legends right here. It's a damn shame, too. You know, if he didn't burn so many bridges, if he didn't backstab uh, a lot of his friends in the back or had any shady business tactics, he would have been part of this amazing resurgence for Sonic the Hedgehog, as we're seeing right here. And the reason why I'm, I'm name-dropping Yuji Naka because we're hours away from finding out the verdict of his July 7th uh, trial date. I know in Japan, obviously, there's a 16 hour, uh, there's 16 hours ahead of me, uh, based on my time zone. So obviously, the news will probably break uh, late tonight, most likely. So when the news does report what the verdict will be on Yuji Naka, I will report it as fast as I can. I mean, these two right here are single-handedly responsible for why you were a Sega Genesis owner back in the day. If you look during the console wars up into the PS2 days, which Sega unfortunately had to get out of the console business because of what happened behind the scenes, obviously during the Sonic Adventure days, where Nato Oshima and Sega just parted ways because of creative differences, which is understandable. It happens all the time with companies. And now you fast forward where we're at right now, couldn't be any excited. Now, for Yuji Naka, obviously, he he burned his own bridge, obviously, because of what he's done behind the scenes with uh, fellow co-workers, with, with uh, a lot of his former employers, you know, the scams that he's been pulling. He's a, he's a shady businessman. And depending what the outcome is going to be for uh, the trial, ten, uh, for his trial, which would be July 7th uh, in Japan, and we will get that verdict most likely later tonight. And I will report on it, so stay tuned for that, because I don't want to miss out on that at all. Now, most likely, Yuji Naka, we already know most likely what his fate's going to be, but his lawyers are trying to get him a less sentence. Maybe he wants to avoid jail time all entirely. A lot of you, let me know what you all think about this image right here. Do you think it's something? Do you think it's nothing? Do you think it's just, eh, they're just two good friends. They're just, uh, you know, just took a picture. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But to a lot of diehard Sonic the Hedgehog fans and Sega fans in general, they think this might lead to something bigger. Again, you know, since Nato Oshima Studio is involved with Sonic Superstars, obviously, and we, and Sega right now, I honestly think Sega, they do have a five-year plan for Sonic moving forward because of all the moves that they're making. I mean, look at how marketable Sonic has become right now. Sonic Prime, obviously, I, I'm assuming they got more plans to add more episodes after Season 3 because the show has a lot of intensity right now. It's building a lot of hype. It's fantastic. Sonic Frontiers is getting more DLC, obviously. Wave 2 and Wave, Wave 2 already gave us an overpowered spin dash and more fun content. And Wave 3, we've already seen the leaks of what it's gonna what it's gonna offer. It's gonna be fantastic. And then of course they're still working on the next mainline uh Sonic the Hedgehog game, aside from Superstars. Again, Sega has a winning formula. And of course, you still got the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie, which is not gonna come out until late. At the end of the year, actually, of 2024, so we got so much content, and I honestly think that Sega has a lot more content planned that they're not even sharing with us. Again, they're staying the they're staying the course of action, focus on the games, don't go on social media like Moro Kishimoto and try to appease the fans. Like, no, stay away from them, you know, focus on the work. And then you'll get plenty of praise later. That's the way it is. The, the fans will praise you by buying your product, and that's it. It's so simple. That's all you gotta do. Don't don't fall into don't cave into these toxic ass Sonic the Hedgehog fans saying, "Oh, this is not the way we want it. You should be doing it this way." No, I'm glad that Sega is ignoring the fans, and I'm glad that they're doing things their way. This is this is the shift the company should have taken years ago, but I'm glad they're making the decision. I couldn't be any happier right now. Everybody, let me know what y'all think about this, and let me know what the ver and I'll cover the whole verdict on Yuji Naka. It'll probably be announced later tonight, and we'll have fun with this. All right, peace out.